Hey guys, Andy here. I'm just going to show you a new weather app that I'm using. A lot of the themers use it because it's um, it's generally it's quite clean and you can adjust it a, a reasonable reasonable amount. Um, there's actually two different widgets there. One is just the uh, the one square sized temperature, and you get a little dot that you can adjust the uh, the settings for it, or you tap on the temperature and you open the actual app. So let's have a look at the actual app while I'm here. So currently, 5 degrees, rainy, it does look a bit nasty outside. Gives the wind temperature, it gives us the next few days. I can scroll one way to get the next 48 hours. It's not looking good, to be honest. And scroll back the other way to get the next 15 days. Um, that's pretty much it for the actual app. I can obviously add different locations or switch between them there. Um, so, reasonably simple, but I think very nicely presented. And then, so that's the uh, city app, 4x2 city app. And if I scroll over, you'll see the the forecast app. Now, let's come back to the city app. So I can change, obviously, the location. I just want the current current location. I can change the text color. So let's say I want some yellow text. Bosch, there I go. Um, I can have the refresh button show or not. I don't really want it. I've got the edit dot, so I can come in and out. I'm going to have rounded corners because I, I may have a background at the minute. I've, uh, I've got the transparency set to next to nothing, but I can have the background. Then you can see the rounded corners look. Um, God, I'm making a disgusting looking icon. Actually, I just want to see if I've changed that one. No, it doesn't affect the other. That's fine. And then, so then we can also change the, the icons. We can have clean icons. Actually, I want to get rid of that background again now. Hold on. Turn that all the way down. So clean icons, they're quite nice. Some dark light. I'm not going to go through all of them, just give you a rough idea. <coughs> so that's just, that's I mean it's got some quite good customizability. That looks, you know, if you had a yellowy-ish theme, unlike me. In fact, I really should put it to a blue, shouldn't I, of some kind. There we go. You know that that fits quite well with uh, with the rest of the theme. There we go. So that's Eye in the Sky. It's free. It's nicely presented. Simple. I couldn't tell you necessarily how accurate it is. I've only installed it one day, but I can tell you it is raining outside and it is cold. So it's not too far off. There we go. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.